pitch over the years and what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity and spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone. You don't stay tall on the backside and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do many times it's a pop up at the belt and fires swing and a miss no balls two strikes got to be clever too when you don't have that lights out stuff right absolutely yeah, you got to know what you're able to do instead of focusing on what that hitter's strength is stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top that one gets down for a hit well he found himself behind in the count right there but he oh, didn't give bad. in he probably would have but been able to drive hitter. that pitch on the Good outside if he let it just get a little that's deeper ball. and look to hit it to the opposite field but he made it work out so now here's the Mets DH Eduardo Escobar. Prime time leads off first with one away. Check on the runner and he's back in standing. Another move to first, and they're keeping him close. Righty delivers. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Out of here. Eduardo Escobar goes deep. His seventh home run of the season. It's 7-1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, number and three. gets the home run. And now, number three, and that's just foul. Left-hand batter waits. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Got it. Leaping catch robs a homer. Well, he just took one away from one of the best in the league. It's not going to happen very often, but when you get the opportunity, better make the play, and he did right there.